Welcome! In this video, we'll show you the process of creating a unique Student Educational Plan, or SEP. While the degree audit identifies what courses you should take to graduate, the SEP is used to plan when to take them. Access the system by logging into My Missouri State and selecting the Student tab. Select the Degree Audit and Student Educational Planner link located in the My Graduation Path channel. The Degree Audit system will appear. Select the Student Planner tab near the top of the screen. A pop-up box will ask if you want to create a new plan from a template or one from scratch. Choose the Select Template button. A template exists for most undergraduate majors offered at Missouri State. These templates, developed by academic departments, serve as a good foundation upon which you can develop your own unique plan to reaching graduation. Search for your major by browsing the list or by using the search box in the upper left corner. Programs are listed alphabetically first by level, then by program name, and then by degree type if applicable. For illustration purposes, we will use the undergraduate communication major with general education courses template. Select the template you would like to use, and then select the Open button. A pop-up box will ask you to select your starting term. You'll notice that all your choices begin with a fall semester. Select the first fall semester you will attend, even if you plan on starting in the spring or summer, as you'll be able to add semesters later in the process. Select your first fall semester that you will attend, and select the OK button. The template will be loaded into your plan. Rename your plan by deleting the current description and entering in the following information. Your last name, a comma, your first name, your bear pass number in parentheses, and the letters SEP. Select the Save button in the lower right corner of the screen to save your progress. Let's examine the parts of a typical semester in your plan. The Course Requirements section lists course codes and numbers for single courses required for the semester, along with the number of credit hours for the course and the minimum grade required for it. The Choice Requirements section lists multiple courses that can complete a specific requirement for graduation. As an example, either GEP 101 or UHC 110 can satisfy the General Education Program's first year seminar requirement. The placeholder requirements section is used by advisors and departments to share graduation requirements where specifically defined course choices are not yet known or are too numerous to list. These can also include non-course items. Common placeholders include elective courses of a student or advisor's choosing, a grade point average or credit hour requirement, suggested actions from your advisor, or, as in this example, links to videos. Requirements may have notes attached which provide further information. Notes are signified by black document icons containing lines. Hover over these icons with your mouse for a brief view of a note or select them to see the full note in a pop-up window. Different views of the planner are available to you. They can be selected from the view drop-down menu near the top right of the screen. The calendar view displays the SEP information by semester in chronological order and is a recommended view for accessing videos linked in the SEP. The Planner Notes view displays a print-friendly view containing any notes entered for clarity and instruction. The Audit view provides a split-screen display of your degree audit on the left and your SEP on the right. The Audit view here differs from your regular degree audit view in that it includes your planned future courses from your SEP. It allows you to ensure your SEP includes all of your necessary degree requirements. The Edit view allows the user to change aspects about the plan. Return to the Edit view. Templates are a good start to building an SEP, but each student will have unique circumstances which may require them to make edits to their plan. For example, you may be transferring credit which satisfies course requirements already contained in the plan's template. You may have placement scores which require you to take a prerequisite course prior to the ones listed on the template. Prerequisites are specific requirements, such as courses or test scores, which must be met before enrolling in a later course. 
A department may have approved for you to take an alternate course, not normally part of the plan. A course listed for a certain semester may be closed before you can register for it. Let's demonstrate how you can edit your plan to better fit your needs. First, let's move a requirement from one semester to another. To do this, select a space between a requirement's text boxes and drag it to your desired semester. You should utilize this option most when editing your plan. To add a requirement, select the plus icon on a semester's upper right corner. Select the type of requirement in the pop-up window. In this case, let's add a course requirement. Search for your desired course by using the magnifying glass icon and using the search function. Make sure to include a minimum grade required. By default, a D grade is used unless your program has a higher requirement. To delete a requirement, select the specific course or the requirement, then select the minus icon in the upper right hand corner of the semester. To add a semester, select the plus icon on the right side of the page across from the description box. You may want to add a semester if you start in a spring or summer semester, or you want to attend future summer semesters. Select the term you wish to add to the plan. To delete a semester, select the Delete This Term button for the semester you wish to delete. We encourage you to consult with your advisor before making significant changes to your plan. They can help you make specific course choices from the course requirements lists, ensure you're not missing any requirements, and provide helpful advice as you approach graduation. Work with your advisor during your first semester to finalize your plan, and he or she can lock it so that you know what to expect moving forward and help you stay on track towards graduation. Visit www.missouristate.edu slash registrar slash degreeworks.htm for more information and resources about the Degree Audit and Student Educational Planner, including tutorial videos like this one. Thanks for watching.